Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we're going to be making a brand new custom My Little Pony Crusher Girls Minis. It's been such a long time since I've last made one and right now it's actually really hard to find one of these dolls. So these dolls are no longer in production but I still have a few from before. So here we have Fluttershy and today I thought we could transform her into Raya from Raya and the Last Dragon, the brand new Disney movie. I recently made a Sisu Dragon right here as you can see. She was a lot of fun to make and if you have not seen that video, make sure to check it out after this video. Alright, are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the head from the body. This is actually really easy. You just have to pull and it comes off like this. And let's take off the skirt. Next, we're going to remove the bangs from Fluttershy. With an X-Acto knife, we're going to carefully separate the bangs. Fluttershy's hair is pretty easy to separate. So she's a little bald here in the front. We're going to fill in the gap with some oven baked clay. Then we're going to add back some hair. There are going to be long strands similar in length to the rest of the hair. I'm going to add two strips, one to each side of her face and blend it into the hair in the back. We're also going to give her a side part. Since we're using oven baked clay, we need to cure it. I'm using a heat gun to cure just this portion of the head. Next, with acetone, we're going to remove Fluttershy's eyes. And then we're going to prime the head with a layer of white. Next, we're going to paint her face. After that, we're going to paint the hair. We're going to paint it dark brown and then mix in a bit of black to darken it. Now we can work on her face. We're going to paint the whites of her eyes. Line the eyes with brown. And add the eyebrows. Then we're going to color in her eyes with dark brown. And add black pupils. Here we're going to give her a small smile. Moving on to the body, we're also going to start by painting it white. Then we're going to paint her arms the same color as her face. Here we're going to paint her shirt. And add a vest over it. Down here is a brown belt. We're also going to add some wraps to her arms. Next, we're going to build up her pants with some clay. Taking a round piece of clay, we're going to cut it in half. Then we're going to place it on the front of each leg. In the back, we're going to blend the new piece into the pants. Using heat gun, let's cure the clay. After the pants are cured, we're going to paint it dark green. Then we're going to paint the boots brown.
add some red details. And add a little bit of gold to the edges of the pants. Now for her hat. We're going to start with a ball, flatten it, and then add a triangle on top. And then we're going to blend it into one piece. Once it's done, we're going to push it down onto her head and cure it. Once the hat is cured, we'll paint it brown. And to finish the head, we're going to add some white dots to her eyes. Next, back to the body, we're going to make her cape. We're going to make the cape a little bit longer so that it touches the floor. This will help support the doll. The doll is extra heavy because of all the clay that we've added. Once the cape is cured, we're going to paint the outside dark red and the underside brownish green. And finally, here we're going to make her sword. Alright everyone, and we are done! So here is Raya! What do you guys think? I think she turned out really, really cute. Oh my goodness, just take a look at her. So she is pretty delicate because she has thin pieces of clay for her cape and she's also pretty top heavy with the hat on top of her head. But here is a close-up look at her face in her outfit. I really love these pants, look at that. And here is the back. Her long hair and her cape and of course we have her hat she turned out so cute and she does stand on her own the cape really helps in kind of keeping her upright but she is still very very fragile there we go and here is her sword which we can place in her hand and I've also gone ahead and made Sisu's orb. So here is the little dragon sphere. And put it in her hand. Oh my goodness, look at that. All right, take a look at the two of them. Aren't they cute? All right, everyone, so I had so much fun making these customs. What do you think? Do you like them? If you have not seen Sisu's video yet, you can go over to that video right now and check it out. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.